Faith leaders in the Twin Cities are taking a closer look at safety and security when it comes to welcoming others in. Adam Duxter spent the day in Bloomington where the hope is preparation now could avoid disaster at a place of worship down the line. Often web sources and that kind of stuff. Well, much of the auditorium at Westwood Community Church is full. Non-ideological threat actor, that's... The message coming from the stage this Saturday isn't about religion, but rather protecting it. Well, today we're educating church leaders on how to stay safe and secure in an open door environment. Most organizations want to keep the bad person out. Um, churches, we believe that we're a house of brokenness and we welcome all individuals and that carries risk. Risk, Simon Azimo says, that in part led to the creation of Kingswood Security, which for the last seven years has held seminars just like this one. I support churches from the Baptist church to community churches to Catholic churches. Everyone is asking the same question, how do we stay safe and secure? In recent years, mass shootings in places like Sutherland Springs, Texas, and the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pennsylvania have heightened national awareness of threats towards places of worship. So the, the risk of something bad happening at church or synagogue or mosque is very, very small doesn't mean you shouldn't be prepared to address it. Rob Allen of the Jewish Community Relations Council says much of his message instead is focused on how faith leaders can leverage relationships with first responders and create an action plan. And the reason that we're here is not because it's unsafe, but to make sure that it continues to be safe and that people are trained and empowered. And we just need to be better educated, better informed, so that if we're ever in an adverse situation, we know what we can do. In Bloomington, Adam Duxter, WCCO 4 News. Allen says in the past year, there have been nearly a dozen instances where anti-Semitic materials were distributed throughout the Twin Cities. He says while synagogues have remained safe, being aware and prepared is important for all faith leaders.